Hi guys, we've all heard of the book uh, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, right? And you think normally it's a nice interesting title and it's not my book, it's Robin Sharma's book by the way, I'm Chetan Bhagat. But you never think you'll actually meet a monk who sold his Ferrari. That's just like it's a nice thought in your head. I, I'm not going to make you meet a monk who sold his Ferrari, but, and he's, but he definitely had a limousine. Uh, basically somebody who actually had a business and this is real. It's not. I'm not making up a fictional story. Somebody who had a business, who uh, had retail stores, who made hundreds of crores, and then became a teacher, a spiritual guide, some a student. Everything just came on a path of spirituality. And he is someone who's called AIR or Air. Now I'm not talking of thin air. I'm not talking of air in the atmosphere. It actually stands for something. It stands for Atma and Ravi. And I'm going to make you meet Atma in Ravi today because I think he has some fascinating perspectives on life that we can all use to make ourselves better people, live happier, more fulfilled lives. Today, we are going to be discussing a very interesting topic of karma that is there very much in our scriptures and we a term that is used around a lot. And I think it helps people to understand what is karma? Is it real? Is it something, just a concept? So I've been always very curious about these things. So hopefully you'll also enjoy this conversation as much as I will. So please welcome Atma and Ravi. Hi, Chita. Having you to have this conversation. Yes. And we're going to talk about karma. Karma. Now, <laughs> karma is a very commonly used word. Correct. It's a cool word. You know? <laughs> cool. Like even around the globe. Around right? the globe, the Westerners yeah. are using it. Karma, and there was a group song called Karma Chameleon. And this karma is there. But if you look at the uh, literal definition, it just means action. Correct. Anything you do, anything, it's karma. Yeah. Karam karo. Like karma is like to take action. Correct. It's just that. But obviously, it has a much deeper meaning in a way that it's to do something. People say like. Uh, I'll tell you where I have heard about karma. It's like karam kare ja, fal ki icha mat kar. Keep, keep <laughs> doing karma and don't worry about the fruits of labor. And the other is uh, jaisa karam kia hai, waisa bukat na padega. Like whatever karma you do, you'll have to suffer that. These are some of the things. But I am let I'm, I'm a first principle sort of guy from a scientific point of view. So uh, what is this karma? Actually, the word karam means action. Mm. But today, I, let's look at karma as a global. Uh, term used for the law of action. Oh, so karma is not karam. Karam is action. Karma, the word karma has become a law. Hmm. As a, on a scientific perspective, a law of action and reaction, a law of cause and effect. So, just in simple words, if you plant apples, you can't get mangoes. It's a law. Yeah, right. It's not that if you go to Dubai. In Dubai, if you plant apples, you can't get pineapples. No. no. It's tough to get apples. <laughs> but that's, yeah, I know what you're saying. So the, the seed is yeah. the apple, so it will be apples. So the seed you plant decides the fruit on the tree. The deed you plant decides your destiny. So just like the seed, mm. every, every seed decides the fruit and every deed decides what people call luck. People think it's luck hmm. what's unfolding in life. It's not luck. Kismat. Kismat kuch nahi hai. Kismat ka spelling hai K-A-R-M-A. -A. Oh. So are you thinking that there is some magic happening in this world? Then the earth that is going around should go around once in 24 hours, once in 30 hours, once in 36 hours. Why exactly precisely once in 24 hours? Because the universe is governed by universal laws. Mm. The law of rotation, the law of cycles, the law of, gra the law of gravity. When for hundreds of years, when an apple was thrown up, it came down, nobody questioned. A guy like Newton was sitting one day, then it hit his head. He didn't say, ouch, he asked why. Mm. He asked the question, why did it not fly? And then he discovered gravity. So karma is a law. We all accept it. But somehow it has not been, it has not been uh, formally written mm -hmm. down uh, as a scientific law. But it is a scientific law. 
this is a very deep thing you're saying because when you talk of an apple tree, there's an apple seed, there's a, like you said, there's a scientific observation that the seed has all the DNA, the code for what the tree will become, right. uh, um, you know, and even when you talk of some of the other things, Earth's rotation, for example, it's some physics, some yeah. equations that can uh, prove that, okay, it's that far from the sun and this is the attraction and this is why it rotates and, you know, uh, it, there is no friction. So it keeps on rotating at a constant speed mm -hmm. and things like that. We have all these physics laws, <laughs> which are scientific laws, which are based on observations and for theories, formulated equations made tested. When you say deeds, deeds are done by humans. Correct. And when I do a deed, um, of course, some if I touch a hot plate, I'm going to burn myself. That's yeah. a very clear. Yeah, the cause and effect. But what you're saying is any deed I do. Yep. Yeah. Like uh, I'm going on the road or like I go to a restaurant and the way I treat a waiter. Correct. Again, I'm just going theoretical thing. Someone can be nice to a waiter. Someone can be rude to a waiter. They can get away with it Correct. by being rude. Just order a food, eat and say, are, are, ho gaya. Like, and people do it all the time. You're saying even that is karma and that is also going to come back in some way? If you're rude to a waiter, you think nothing has happened. You, you shout at the waiter, you scream at him, you even spit at him and you come out. But then when you're standing with a brand new dress to get into a party, a car passes and splashes all the garbage on you. And then you curse and you ask why. So you are saying that's linked? Everything in this world is linked. Life is karma. Now today, somebody gets cancer. Somebody doesn't get cancer. Why? So you'll say that because it depends on their, on their food habits, on their DNA, on their genes, on... No. Some child is born blind. Some child is born in a slum. Some child is born in a palace. Why? Can you answer the question, why? Why is it that some people are... Some people's life is unfolding with happy things. Some people, not so happy things. And, and normally two explanations are given. Some people will call it randomness, mm. chance. Mm. Some people, in India, sometimes people call it fate or kismet, which are different. Uh, uh, kismet means like it was written in your destiny and therefore you are born here. So there is some planning behind it. Or some people say it's completely random, you know. And what you are saying is neither kismet, Neither is it luck, it is karma. No, it's, Chitan, it's not what I am saying. It's what we all should introspect. Mm. Now, is it by random that your blood is red and my blood is some other color? No. no. Everything in this universe is organized. Can we agree to that? Mm. Now, there may be some freak, some freak accidents like a cyclone, a tsunami. They will happen. They also have a meaning. But otherwise, if you look at this whole universe, it is very well organized. Everything in this, uh, it's, it's not that suddenly you have some people who are born with six eyes, some people who are born with uh, teeth all over there. No. So everything in this universe is organized. I was saying that it's not that things are happening by random. Mm. So we cannot, if that be the case, then there should be on a tree, apples and jackfruits and cherries. Why not? There is a system. There's a system. We have to accept. Now, if we don't want to accept, fine. And this kismat, luck, fate, serendipity, what is it? Who is handling, who is creating this so-called system of luck or fate or serendipity? So often in life, we say, I bad luck here. My luck is bad. Now, even a casino, is today controlled the way it works. Mm. There is something called chance, for example, in a casino, right? Because out of one on, if the roulette wheel has 31 to 36, then the, the chances it will come once in 36 rounds. But karma is a very well-organized law. And um, unless we understand this law of karma, we will not understand life. Mm. If we want to understand why is life unfolding the way it's unfolding, why sometimes we wonder why bad things are happening to good people. Yeah, why? I, actually, that was one of my questions. That happens. Yeah. Which, as you are speaking, yeah. there's a war. 
yeah very bad war going on it's disturbing to watch it the yep. gaza israel yeah, situation I'm, i'm not going to be political we are not going to take sides yeah. but nobody can deny that there is suffering right it's inhuman and, and at a level which we have never seen yeah and okay some people may be the bad guys some people may be like terrorists and some people may be like evil or whatever but a lot of people are not some people are just kids on both sides right um, of course one side may be more or less that's like i said that's a different bit what is karma like what, what, what's happening so everything that people are doing is a karma that is recorded in their book of life mm. whoever it may be it may be a prime minister it may be a president it may be a general it may be a terrorist every human being you as chetan bhagat has your karma why were you born on earth as chetan bhagat because of your karma not because your mom and dad decided that we will have chetan as our son no your mom and dad were only involved in act of copulation and that fertilization they did not do they did not decide they'll have a boy or a girl as a child no it's all controlled by karma no somebody will ask the question now they're saying this war is happening this war is happening because people political religious people and political people have made a conscious decision to have the war mm. for example today anything we do suppose you go to buy a burger and the burger costs 100 rupees you give the guy 200 rupees and you get the burger and he gives you a change of 400 rupees now obviously what has he made a mistake he thought you have paid him a 500 rupee note yes when actually you paid him 200 so you are seeing the burger is costing 100 you paid him 200 he is giving you back 400 you take the 400 and put it in your pocket as a natural instinct and you take the burger as what's my problem mm. but in essence you have cheated him in essence you should have told him i paid you 200 take back 300 because i only owe, you owe, owe me only 100 and just giving you an example every deed that we do is recorded and you will tell me who the hell are you to say this how do you prove it so my counter question is how else is this world unfolding how are 8 billion people being managed how is this drama called life actually happening people are driving people are having crashes people are being born people are dying people are achieving success people are achieving failure there are billions and trillions not billions trillions of actions happening every day around the globe so everything is random how can it be random everything is organized the only inference we can give for example if it throws up an apple up and comes down you can question the law of gravity or you can infer that because the apple is coming down there must be a force called gravity and i accept the force called mm. gravity so you have to accept that there's a law of action and reaction the western world calls it the law of the boomerang what goes around comes, comes around so we have to look at it very clearly and the way the best way to look at it is the example of the seed the seed creates the roots the shoots and the fruits but it is the seed change the seed change the seed and the shoot will change the fruit will change because the root will change so it is your deeds and every time you do good deeds so you have to ask yourself the question isn't it true that if i work hard then chances i do well in my exams or i do good in my business is it a fair a fair way to say but doesn't it happen sometime that i work harder than my friend but my friend got the first rank and i didn't yes or not yes even that is karma because the law of karma to understand it since we are discussing is an ongoing law mm-hmm. not that you studied today but your negative account of karma is for many many years even many many lifetimes and therefore if somebody is doing well it's because of their karma okay now i i obviously want the viewers to gain something from it 
something they can use in life so it's natural to say you should do good deeds do good karma and everything but uh, like is that the way is that what would you tell people to do if everything is linked we should only do good karma we should be very aware of this no let us do what bad the- karma now let us no, let me let me provoke you mm. let us do bad karma let us steal let us rape mm. let us cheat let us kill mm. can we do what do you feel let's all do it suppose i tell you chetan chalo abhi aap aur suppose there are no laws suppose ha suppose we go to, we go there's to no this. legal system a thought experiment there's ha. no legal system and you and me we walk into the city and we go and steal we take a lady we take her bag we take her stuff well wherever in the world uh, there has been lawlessness yeah. uh, people do all kinds of bad karma correct so there is the law and you have to follow the law yeah otherwise you'll be arrested or whatever correct so now let's look at it from the point of view what you're saying right so as per your deed so you will be dealt so if you are going to cheat the judiciary will put you behind bars it is exactly what i'm talking about the law of action and reaction so you're saying this already exists in nature it, it's it's there the only thing is we are talking about certain uh, laws of say a police system a, a legislative system a judicial system in a country but we are not talking about the spiritual law of karma the law of life supposing there is a i don't know somebody in a senior government position hypothetical i'm not yeah. talking about any particular we are just discussing and he takes a bribe to get your some public job done yeah on a regular basis he yeah. takes a bribe because he's in he has to sign something or approve something and he takes a bribe it happens yes example one second someone gives a bribe to get their children into college right where their the marks were less or whatever and they feel it's okay i mean it's for my child's future they they're taking bribe they're like it's okay i mean i i get paid very less as a government servant i need more money things are very expensive they have this some justification everybody else does it so why why should i do it firstly let's be clear that is bad karma any deed we do first of all let's understand that there are karma which are good karma bad karma and neutral karma suppose i'm sitting like this and i'm eating i'm eating my bread mm. am i doing anything any any good to anybody no any bad to anybody no so there's no karma it's an action but it's not being recorded by the books of karma no. but if you eat too much bread then you will get dizzy so automatically <laughs> So, so in a way that can also be karma <laughs> yeah. so if you eat too much bread or if you eat the wrong food let's say suppose you eat poisonous mushrooms uh-huh. now you've taken the wrong action there will be a wrong reaction yes so chetan this is a very basic law and people who don't understand that this whole world is unfolding see our life is unfolding you walk suppose you're walking somebody throws a banana skin and you skin and you just turn on the shit man what the hell man mm. but why did you skid why did you fall it's not kismat it's not random okay it is karma okay everything that is unfolding on earth is because of karma so what will happen to the person who gives a bribe to get a job or takes bribes to get someone's job done all bad karma and karma will have its own way of punishing us even if they don't get caught if they don't know you get it caught doesn't matter at all suppose mm-hmm. you steal suppose there's uh, you steal and you're not caught but the karma has recorded it the law of karma is you you can't escape mm. it's just like you're driving in singapore and there's no policeman and you're going on the red signal light the moment you go home you get an e ticket do you or you don't get yes, any ticket because there's some camera somewhere yeah, camera so now human beings have got cameras on the street but karma has got camera inside you mm. the karma camera is inside you your karma camera is not anywhere else it's inside you so the ledger there is a ledger yeah. which is debit credit inside you and so you have to pay but of course there is much see this is just a kindergarten of karma what we are talking about mm. karma is you have to grow beyond karma so first of all understanding karma the law accepting karma that karma suppose you are driving a car is your drive predetermined or your car is in your hand and you can drive the way you want to drive mm. can you or not yes you can control you can go forward yeah you, you can, go I back. can go back i can if i am here in mumbai you can go to lonavla we can go to nasik wherever we want to go because that karma 
is in your hands. Mm. Can you change the road? No. Why you can't change the road? Not in my hands. Because the road is laid. Mm. So whatever your past karma have you done, that has already been laid. That is going to unfold. Mm. Whether you will have an accident, whether you will have a disease, whether you will get hurt, if there is a past karma in your account, in your ledger, as you call it, you have to face it. But you have a present karma and you can change your present karma and suppose that road was going to, you could have an accident at Lodavla and you turn and go away to Pune, then you don't have an accident. Mm. So the karma can be changed, your des destiny can be changed if you understand karma and do good karma, you can change your bad karma of the past. So if you give someone pain, let's not talk about stealing and all, but let's say in a relationship, yeah. you give someone pain. Yeah. Some record is made in the blockchain of karma yeah. in your ledger system that one day you will have to face the same pain. Absolutely. And you can't escape it. If you give somebody pain, that pain will come back to you. There is no way to escape it. Unless you are enlightened. Hmm. Unless you transcend karma, which we should cover before let's the end of our conversation. That. Yeah, let's talk about that. So who does karma? Let's go a little deeper. Because what we are talking now is elementary, right? So who does karma? Suppose you are doing karma, right? You. Chetan Bhagat is doing some karma. Correct. Who does the karma belong to? Mine. To you. Hmm. To Chetan Bhagat. So one day Chetan Bhagat dies. Karma is done, right? What is, that, what is that ledger? Huh? Supposing I had done more bad things than good or whatever. Yeah. Then what happens? So to first one? of all, as you are living, your karma is unfolding on a day-to-day -day basis. So karma, there are at this point two accounts that are relevant. One is the karma that you are born with and one is the karma you are doing. So there are two karmas, the opening balance and the current account. You keep doing this karma plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, one day you die. But the one who's doing the karma is not this body. The one who's doing this karma is the one who's the director of this body. It is me, the mind and the ego. The mind and the ego is telling you, Chetan, usko paisa do. Chetan, that guy is not asking for money. No? He, has done, he, has, he has done the job. You don't need to pay. Your body is only following directions of the mind and the ego, me. Mm. So when Chetan Bhagat will die, the karma is not over. The account of karma which you started and the current account together gets carried forward and that's how you come back to earth in a rebirth. There's a connection between our birth or our rebirth with karma. Now you may, people will deny, okay, what, what, what you're talking garbage, kya baat karta hai, kaise ho sakta hai se? Then you go and try to contemplate birth. There's a beautiful song I wrote, I said, why did we come to earth? Why did we get this birth? There is only one reason, karma. Everybody is born in this world only because of karma. If there's no karma, then there is mukti, there is moksha. You don't have to come to this world. Am I making sense to you? Yeah, but so you're saying that you are here and I am here and everybody else watching this is here because the ledger of their past life was not settled. Correct. And the day it's settled, we don't come back. No. <laughs> or, or like how does it? Yeah. So, yeah. so, 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 what? so most people will tell you in religion, they go, bete, achha karam karo. Ah. Achha karam karega na, to prabhu milega. Ah. Correct. This, Correct. Is, this is what we are told. If you want God, do good karma, you will go to swarga. Bullshit. Okay. Because if you do good karma, it's like planting a good fruit. If you have planted a good fruit as per law, what does the common sense say? You have planted a deed, you must get rewarded. Hmm. How will you get rewarded? You will come back. 
to take the reward correct oh whether you do good or whether you do bad wapas aana hai wapas aana hai to people get confused are yaar to fir mukti ke moksha ha then mukti kaise payenge moksha kaise payenge you have to be free from all karma karna hi nahi kuch fir aisa baith jao sunne aisa aisa baith jao aisa how can you do that uthega khana khayega you will eat you will talk you will walk office most people have to make a living so is it right to say that we finish all our karma and we die or is it right to say that when we die our karma is not finished it's not finished it's not finished hmm. there is only one way to be free from karma and there is only one way to achieve achin mukti or moksha and it is so simple it is to realize let me give you an analogy hmm. suppose you were convicted by the government of dubai hmm. you are convicted and given 10 years i'm just giving i'm, I'm, yeah, I'm giving you a very very way huh? you are convicted for taking some uh, um limited item into hmm. into the country that you were taken some restricted item and you were gone and they caught you and the restricted item you are given 10 years jail and then you are again uh, caught for uh, some other crime and you're given 20 years jail and you're caught for a third crime and you're given 30 years jail abhi kitna jail kitna jail ho gaya aapko 30 30 plus 10 plus 20 oh three crimes so oh, not concurrent so 60 60 years to aap baith gaye jail mein abhi dubai ka government ko malum pad gaya ki ye aadmi nahi hai jo chori kiya ye criminal is not for criminal crime one crime two crime three then what happens to you they release you they release you what happened to the 60 years of jail mm. it's gone karma is the same mm. if you keep doing karma and keep doing karma and keep doing karma then you got the karma you have to pay for it but when you are not the convict if you are not the one who's done the karma then mm. then do you have to pay for it no that is the secret i am not this body that does karma i am not the mind that you cannot find i am not the ego that says i am it's a lie the moment you realize i am the divine soul mm. the soul has no karma in that moment you are liberated from all karma that is moksha so everybody can have it anybody can have you it. don't have to sit in the himalayan mountains you for 40 years and you just have to overcome your ignorance mm. what is the biggest ignorance the biggest ignorance is i ये आई जो है ना मैं ये क्या है मैं हु एम आई बिकॉज वी थिंक आई वी डू बैड कर्मा द ईगो एंड द माइंड द माइंड मेक्स एस डू बैड कर्मा द ईगो मेक्स एस डू बैड कर्मा इन रियालिटी दिस वर्ल्ड इज अ शो वी कम एंड वी गो क्या लेके आया हम नहीं बिलियन यू बॉट हम नहीं बिलियन यू टेक nothing then <laughs> mere ko to i won't get billions even in the life but yeah i know what you're saying hey what the how much see uh, na lay na tha na ek chaddi bhi nahi pen ke aate hain uh, aur jab jayenge to sab utar ke utar ke bhejenge hame yeah even a diaper is removed so a, a boy whose mother died when they were taking the mother to bury he said ek ek minute khada khada kya hua diamond ring to dikhalo to diamond ring is pulled out from his nose to jalayenge to diamond ring ko kyun jalana hai True, or, true or false? Yeah. yeah. So let us realize we come with nothing, we go with nothing, but we are caught in this illusion, what they call Maya. We are talking some spiritual language. It's called Maya. It's actually a lila. Hmm. It's a lila. What's the difference between Maya and lila? Maya is a cosmic illusion. Hmm. Maya. So what is Maya? Maya chupke se aake. सच को छुपा के मिथ्य को दिखा के बोले ये संसार सच्चा है ना सच्चा सब कुछ माया है माया मीन्स माया से होल वर्ल्ड इज अ प्रोजेक्शन इट्स लाइक अ स्क्रीन यू गो टू द मूवी एवरीथिंग इन द स्क्रीन इज अ प्रोजेक्शन अमिताभ बच्चन शाहरुख खान ऑल प्रोजेक्शन इन द मूवीज ओवर वॉट यू सी ब्लैंक स्क्रीन Chetan Bhagat comes here, air comes here, all everybody comes here. Dama, dama, dama. In the end, it's all a cosmic illusion. And what's happening is, it's a lila. Lila means, Natak uska hai ye. 
संगीत भी उसकी है हम तो बस कलाकार हैं हम आते हैं जाते हैं दिस वर्ल्ड इज अ शो इट्स अ लीला द अर्थ इज अ स्टेज वी कम ऑन द स्टेज वी डू अवर शो वी गो बट टिल वी आर ऑन द स्टेज हम क्या बोलते हैं ये मेरा है वो मेरा है क्या तेरा है एक्चुअली कुछ हमारा है Even the most beautiful relationships which we treasure, we get attached to people. We 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 feel such lovely people. Oh, I want her. No one is not mine. So this is the lila. So this world is the Maya. This world is the lila. When you understand all this, you are heading towards the goal of moksha. moksha. I love those words, and I think ये जो Maya and lila these words are in Sanskrit or Hindi or whatever. Yeah, they are not got. they don't have the perfect translation in english you are trying to explain that it's illusion yeah. and you're trying to explain that it's like a game or a theater or a play but it's not exactly the same essence because, because the english world doesn't want to acknowledge it na ah. the modern world doesn't want to this is go to hell we don't want to acknowledge it yes and uh, i was reading that one language is sometimes not enough to express certain things and i think these concepts in our uh scripture or whatever our tradition we have actually spent a lot of time on this maya karma yeah. lila moksha in fact when i was having uh, i have twins and we didn't know ki two boys and two girls one boy one girl we finally ended up having two boys but i loved these names then i used to do yoga and all then and i i said that if i have two daughters i'll call them maya and lila <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and the boys but well i like krishna and krishna also does lila and yeah. maya so i said first i said uh, sham and krishna if they are boys and um, then we had two boys but then my wife said sham and krishna is too much krishna and then <laughs> there is name another god so we made ishan which is like shiva's name and then uh, we i have i have a sham So sham and Isha. And if it was a one boy, one girl, it was Sham and Lila. So it was Sham Lila. So it's very good to have these names because they are programming us on a positive. Yeah, way. and this is a concept which one just this simple understanding that it's just a game, you know. And, and a lot of times in situations in life, a business deal, some success, some promotion, we get so distressed. Ki nahi hua or a breakup, and we feel like life is over. And if you just have this simple concept, sab lila hi to hai. You know what happens? What you're saying? Imagine you just understand si lila hai. You just take it as a joke. That itself is a liberation. Yeah, it's huge liberation. So you don't need to do twenty day vipassana retreats mm-hmm. or go to the Himalayas for five years, live in a kutia. You can just just be, be like you said, open your eyes. So chetan, what is this called? Chetan in one word, it is called enlightenment. Hmm. Now you tell somebody enlightenment. You tell you what? 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 So what do you do? You switch on the light. The moment you press the light, what happens? Yeah. You can see everything. Mm. Our outside life is got light. Our inside light life is full of darkness. Yeah, and that's why we don't understand karma. We don't understand moksha. Mm-hmm. The world calls it moksha. The world calls it nirvana. The world calls it salvation, liberation. Same thing. Pani bolo, water bolo. same thing same thing yeah yes that's true but like i i in fact i was listening to another podcast today and they were saying that there are some emotions which are not there in each language like there's some there's an emotion um there's a word called gigero i think and that it's one of the languages and that word means when you see a very cute baby the desire to do mm, to him <laughs> it's a separate feeling yeah, yeah. there is no word like you feel happy and you want to do that but there is no perfect word but there is a word in a one language that exists there is a word in japanese for the sad emotion of getting a bad haircut it's a separate feeling <laughs> because you know the hair is going to grow out you know it theek bhi ho jayega but at that moment you feel something and the japanese have a word for it because it's important to them right yeah 
So we also have our in Indian spiritual traditions, which and of course today, see the West dominates the narrative. The people call it cultural wars have been won by them. So we believe that everything is about them. But um, some of these words, if the younger generation knows and understands, what does it mean, and how I can apply it to myself. You know, it's not one thing is you know that okay, ha, Gita me dikhaya, our scriptures talk about karma. But how is this for me? I'll do this when I'm 75. No, it doesn't When I retire, I'll sit in the park with uncles and we'll do it. But I think when life is over, what's the point of understanding life when life is over? Yeah, you need to live life. Yeah. And the point is this. If you, are, you always talk about being practical. What is karma important for? Do you know? Karma is a key to control our destiny. Hmm. How's this now for a change? Mm -hmm. So if you have, if you are a master, so destiny is not fixed. No. Have you heard the word? Have you heard the word luck? Of course. How do you spell it? L U C K. Wrong. How do you oh. spell it? It's not L U C K. Mm. The word luck is spelled P L U C K. Okay, at least you said P and not F. <laughs> <laughs> so you pluck, <laughs> Chetan. You pluck. Your destiny is not luck. Okay. You pluck. Mm -hmm. And what do you pluck? You pluck what you plant. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. No, and uh, what is the connection between karma and death? So just like asking, what is the connection between petrol in your tank and how many kilometers you can drive? So as much petrol in your tank, you drive. So the moment the petrol is over, your car will stop. So karma is like that. So karma doesn't get over. But as per karma, when a particular point of karma comes to an end, it's called the prarabdha karma. A prarabdha karma is what you started with. Mm. When that particular prarabdha karma comes to an end, life comes to an end. Mm. But the agami karma, which we did, of course, None of us actually knows exactly how karma functions. Right? Can I say I'm a master of karma? How can I be a master of karma? We can infer, we can understand. But it's like a river. So karma is like a river that's flowing. So in a river, you have rain falling in the river. You have the gutters coming into the river. You have water coming from different tributaries into the river. So karma is the river that's flowing. But at one point of time, karma says, this part is over. Now, karma and death also works with another way. Every human being, can you live for 200 years? No, Why not yet. No, no, but no. I mean, no, yeah, for, for the last 2000 years, they, has. So, so the lifespan for a human being is 100. For a dog, it's 10 to 12 years. Where 100 people are, very few live 100. No, the life, no, no. That's so life expectancy is different. So life expectancy is in uh, Africa 50, in India 70, in Japan 90, depending on the health systems of the country. But a lifespan mm. is what is the capacity to live. A butterfly has a lifespan of two weeks. A butterfly So karma unfolds in this lifespan and sometimes somebody dies at 40. It's no luck. The only thing that is not connected with karma and death, there's one thing. You know what that is. It is called suicide. Mm. So suicide is not natural death. So your karma is not over and you commit suicide because you're fed up of life. Then what happens? Do you know what happens? No. So very interesting. So then we all, if every miserable person should kill themselves, right? Why? Ah, because oh yeah. <laughs> Suppose today, everybody who's miserable, they should just shoot themselves or jump in the river. It's not a good idea. You think no, intuitively that, good idea or not? That doesn't sound like society so, should be like that. So you have two boys. There was a boy who was 16 years old. He went to his teacher and told his teacher, Sir, I am tired of studies. It's 10th standard exam. You know, 10th standard exam is ICSE or CBSE can really be tough. So he told the teacher, I want a favor. He said, yes. He said, I want to commit suicide. So teacher told him, okay, no problem. You tell me how you want to commit. You want a rope, I'll give you a rope. You want chemical to drink, I'll give you chemical to drink. The boy became very happy. He said, sir, what is the best thing to do, sir? So teacher said, you tell, I'll give you one gla give a glass. I'll have a bottle, I'll give you. So he was going to give him the, to drink. He told the child only one thing. One thing I want to tell you. I said, what, sir? 
He said, you'll drink, you'll die on the spot. Yes, sir, I'll be free. But when you come back, you have to start from first standard. <laughs> you have to start first standard, second standard, third standard, fourth standard, fifth standard. You know, then what's the point of dying? If I have to start from first standard, hmm. so, but that will happen. He says, I don't, I don't want to die. <laughs> I'll face my exam. Yeah. See, people who commit suicide don't understand. So this is a, this is a news for somebody who's been contemplating. If you commit suicide, it's not going to go. You have to come back and start all over again. It's the worst idea to commit suicide. Mm, that I agree. Normally, life does have other options. Yeah, because it's people think it's an easy way out. It's, but it's, not. Not. it's not. Ignorance. It's foolishness. Let's talk about something I think I connect to the karma is temptation. Mm. There is temptation all around us. Yes. Whether it's a plate of gulab jamuns yeah. that we know that we should not eat. Nothing against gulab jamuns, but we know it's unhealthy. Or whether it's alcohol sometimes with friends, sex, pornography. These are all temptations. Instagram reels, I would say, I would put it in the same category of like you keep can't, like you just are addicted to keep watching your phone rather than doing any real work. You're surfing the net and seeing nonsense. I yeah, do. Yeah, I'm yeah, guilty. Yeah. We all do it. And in a way, we are all doing that karma and temptation leads us to that karma. How to understand that? How do we know what karma to pursue, what not to pursue? Sometimes it's not about good or bad. We just get tempted. Yeah. It's, very, it's, it's a very relevant question, practical question. But let's go one step back. Okay. Okay. Suppose I'm thinking, well, this guy now, this guy has got his beautiful Ferrari parked down. He's left his keys here. Mm. I'm thinking. So Jabab, when you're just going to go, I take the keys. I'm thinking of stealing your Ferrari. Good karma, bad karma? I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking of stealing your keys here. I'm thinking of stealing your Ferrari. Good karma, bad karma? Well, I, don't, I mean, technically, you've not done it yet. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> technically. So it's not a bad karma. But it's still kind of bad. I'm just getting <laughs> to your point. See, uh -huh. like, I mean, the word karma means what, Chetan? Action. Action. Not thought. Hmm. In my thought, I raped somebody. Okay. Is it bad karma? It's n not karma. It's not karma. It's something else that is bad about it. No, no. So if, you, if I keep thinking I'm going to rape, I'm going to rape, then I will eventually, mm. thoughts become feelings, feelings become action. So we are not saying that we should have You're bad playing thoughts. playing with fire. Yeah. But thought is not karma. I'm jumping from this point to temptation. No, you're having temptation. You're watching Instagram. It's addiction. You're hurting yourself. There's not a bad karma in that sense. Mm. Karma is recording, or for the matter, you eat extra four gulab jamuns. It's only an internal karma. It is, it is a karma which is an inner circle. Mm. But karma is more to do with, more with an outer circle. Mm. It is what you do with others. Mm. It is not, if you have a temptation, if you have a temptation to steal, and you're stealing somebody's some valuable thing, that becomes a bad karma. Therefore, the temptation by itself is bad because any temptation will take you to bad action, mm -hmm. to bad karma. But any temptation which is internalized, which is only to do with us, gets finished without it going into the karmic cycle. Okay. How can I live a life where... Can you avoid any bad karma? Can you live a life with a hundred? And, and like this whole concept of do good karma, you'll go to heaven. And when we are drinking sometimes uh, with friends, I don't drink that much, by the way, and I don't endorse alcohol. Or like sometimes you're doing all kind of, we talk, we gossip. <laughs> we'll say things about someone. He's so bad or he's so, he's having an affair with someone. He's having bad. And we say, narak chayenge ham. Because we have, we have a gutter brain. We have a gutter brain. And, we go to narc. and then I say, it's okay, our, we'll be together in narc. If we'll be in Swark, all the good people are going to be there, like Anna Zare and all are hanging out there. Who will have to hang out with Anna Zare then? 
now at least my buddies from college are there we are all going to hell this whole concept of karma good karma leading to a heaven and heaven is like a nice posh hotel kind of thing and nark is very get fried in the kadhai every day or something is that like that's how we it's thought all, it's all bunch of lies a bunch of lies that god lives in the skies all bunch of lies and there's a heaven left no, and there's, there's a, a glass wall and the nark people are seeing the heaven people chilling it's because you know two three things here one when you die the body returns to dust hmm so quest first question who goes koi hai nahi jaane ke liye to kaun jata hai some kind of a soul hologram or something so you have to and there was spirituality is a science of the spirit hmm the soul you know what's a soul s o u l means spark of unique life oh you have a spark of unique life i have a spark of unique life but those sparks are different if i die you will not die if you die i will not die but when we both die both our souls become one because this energy mm. and that energy merges with the energy which is everywhere this whole misunderstanding is called ghor avidya ke karan dukh sahna we are all suffering in this world because of ignorance this heaven this hell what scriptures this heaven and hell is not there heaven and hell is there but it is on earth when you take rebirth heaven and if you are born in a slum is it not hell yeah I if would... you are born son of bill gates is it not heaven gaza is hell right now then gaza hell the, the complete hell yeah imagine those people millions of 2 million people being bombarded grounded like are what more hell you want yeah So you ask me two three questions. So one very interesting question. You gossip. Is gossip bad or not? Interesting. No, it interesting. Feels, sometimes it really feels good. Interesting question. No, it feels good because maza hai. No. But there was a uh, there were two ladies who were living opposite the house of a priest. Mm. And the priest used to go every day to a woman's house, to a widow's house next door. and go at 7 and stay there for 2 3 hours and come back at 10 mm. and what these two ladies used to do they would every day at 7 o'clock they would come and they would look at the priest and then they would look at the priest going to the house and they would look light going on light going off candle coming on candle going off all those gossiping 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 about the priest it went on for days one day when they got up in the morning they thought the priest going in the morning to the house because that lady died and the lady's brother had come to finish the ceremony then went to the lady's brother and said how come she suddenly died I said no she had fourth stage of cancer and the priest was coming every day and praying for 2 3 hours and i was on the telephone with them and they were praying for 3 hours so they went to the priest and said father we have been gossiping about you so much mm-hmm. so father said no problem He he gave them a pillow. He said, "What you have to do is just take this pillow and go to the top of the mountain, and all you do is tear the pillow and empty it out, and your sins are forgiven." Mm. So they went to the top of the pillow. They cut the pillow. They put and they came back. Father, father, we have done what you said. Is our sins forgiven? He said, "Yes, forgiven." Only one more thing you must do: go bring me back all the feathers that have gone up, gone from the top of the mountain. You cut the pillow, and all the feathers went into the whole yeah. city. Now you go bring back all the feathers, then your sin is forgiven. Because what you spoke, what you gossiped, had gone around the whole town. Mm. Can't take it back. Can't. So I'm just saying that. So therefore, we have to be cautious of what we do. Mm. This temptation of bad talking, bad doing, and this answer comes with spirituality, because spirituality tells you to do good karma. and of course you are wanting to know the last what is the ultimate of karma but whether whether you want to t- touch that subject or not i do i do i i but before that my this was my last question but uh, please feel free to add on that what do we do with karma you can use it as a ending question we've all lived lives and we've done good things and bad things and let us say i've done some bad karma now and i want to reset the balance and is it like i've done the bad karma now it's like feathers out of the pillow no or what how can anybody watching this who's done bad karma in life but wants to do better 
and uh, is that is there hope for them or abo ho gaya abhi now you're like toast man uh, <laughs> or how can we do better so and like uh, how what does it all mean and maybe that can be a nice closing for this but yeah that so there are two options right so suppose you go to go to city bank and you've taken a loan of 20000 and you taken a loan of 40000 and taken a loan of 50000 1 lakh so we go to city bank what will it tell you boss you've taken a loan of 20000 and 40000 and 50000 and 1 lakh this is your interest so if you want me to close your case what do you have to do pay back pay this money back karma is like that so you've done this negative this negative this negative this negative what do you have to do pay back but what if you have done negatives which are millions and trillions and mm. still there is hope and the hope is called mukti it is called moksha which means that if you come to understand karma i am not this body this body will die i am not the mind where is the mind you cannot find and this ego that says i is just a fiction of my imagination i am the soul we spoke about the soul this is nirvana this is salvation this is liberation realizing i am the soul not just realizing but living as that soul the moment you become a divine instrument what the bhagavad gita says karm karo phal ki ichha mat karo right you started with that what is the meaning of that if as long as your body mind as long as your jeevatma you will have phal ki ichha na every human being has ichha which human being does not have ichha you need to realize that you are a divine instrument you are a soul then all your karma are free like that dubai incident i gave you if you are you have got conviction one conviction two conviction three but they come to know you are not the convict mm. somebody else is the chore somebody else is a thief then will you still be in the jail then you are free this is our goal in all the thing of karma that we are talking about the entire essence of karma to learn is this i am not the one who is doing the karma karma is real it's a law you can't escape it but you can transcend it hmm so there's hope there is hope and this is our goal if you realize you are the soul all your karma are free and you become one with the supreme nice any last thoughts you have for people watching this people younger than you on on related to karma on how they can incorporate this knowledge into their life and how they actually live on a normal basis student office worker housewife businessman businesswoman we have to be conscious about karma hmm. we have to be so i can my last two words would be two i want to give two messages so oh, sure in this world there we can do the best thing and the second best thing the second best thing chetan that we can do is to do good karma because if you keep doing good karma and good karma and good karma and good karma it means you are keeping on depositing bank the depositing cash in the bank depositing positive deposit there's no there's no loan there's no drawings so at end of the account you'll have positive so keep on doing good karma good karma good karma but the problem with that is you will come back to earth mm. you may come with a good birth but you will come back to earth so i call this a second best thing what is the best thing to do the best thing is to realize ke i am not the one who is doing the karma good karma bad karma you may have karma of 20 lives 20 you might have lived 20 lives and you may be carrying loads of karma but the one who is carrying the loads of karma is an illusion it's avidya it's ignorance mm. and if you overcome that ignorance that i am not the one who owns this karma this is what i want everybody who is listening to us today to understand that you can't you can't circumvent karma you have to accept karma good bad whatever is happening in your life therefore if something happens in your life rejoice don't cry mm. because you have to accept it it is your own karma coming back to you so first of all learn to understand the drama called karma and the trauma that's happening is all part of life but the moment you want to you go beyond that then transcend karma attain mukti attain moksha that is the purpose of birth to be free from the cycle of rebirth and to become one with the supreme so we all must work towards that 
That's great. Atman Ravi, thank you so much for your lovely <laughs> thoughts. It was an interesting discussion. It's a tough topic. Tough topic. But yes. you simplified it and I think uh, it helps people understand it. And it, you didn't make it in a very uh, extra religious, you didn't bring religion in it at all. There's no religion involved in this. The, even though certain religions talk about it and we keep using the term, throwing the term karma loosely around. But it doesn't have to be a bitch. It's just simply a ledger system, I think. And the best way is to opt out with enlightenment. And of course, while you're in it, don't do bad things. I think that's a great summary takeaway for me. And guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Whatever you thought of it, do put in the comments below. Agree, disagree. Questions you might have. AIR will read it, respond. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this conversation. Keep watching and keep doing good karma.